co-chair of the uh, of the Democratic Kurdish Community Center of New South Wales, I would like to thank you very much for coming here tonight to celebrate Nevroz with us. Happy Nevroz, Nevroz Piroz Day. We really appreciate your presence here this evening because there have been many, many times in history when Kurdish people left very alone. Today is March 16th. On this day in 1988, the Kurdish people suffered the Halabja massacre. The dictator Saddam Hussein launched the largest chemical weapons attack against a civilian populated area in history and killed around 5,000 Kurds and injured many, many thousands more in this Kurdish city in Iraqi Kurdistan. In our community in Sydney, we have some survivors of, of that massacre. They can tell you the terrible truth, truth if you speak with them. They can tell you, tell you of their struggle of their struggle to flee from this massacre. They can tell you of their suffering as a refugee and asylum seekers. During Nevroz, we remember our loved ones who, who have passed. But as we were forced to flee our homeland, there are many loved ones who have passed a long way from us. We cannot visit their graves, but we will not forget them. Will you please join me in a minute of silence to remember the thousands who died in Halabja on this day? 33 years ago. Thank you very much, Shahid Mamari. <laughs> but Nevroz is most of all time when we celebrate new beginnings. And while we have suffered many terrible things over the years, we can also celebrate some great achievements. Our brave Kurdish women and men in the Syrian Democratic Forces in North, North and East Syria, as, or Rojava as we call, call it, defeated ISIS. They liberated not only many Kurdish cities, towns and villages from the terrible Daesh, but also many, many cities, cities, towns and villages that uh, were the population mostly Arab or members of the other member of other nationalities or ethnic groups. They liberated Raqqa, which has the capital of the Islamic State, so-called uh, Caliphate. Now Raqqa is, is free and the people that are rebuilding their lives and building their, their own institution of autonomy and grassroots democracy. The women of Raqqa were even able to celebrate International Women's Day this year. How amazing is that? So these neighbors have, have some good things to celebrate and new beginnings to be very proud of and very happy to share. Uh, one of them is your pre uh, presence here this evening. So many MPs, so many dis uh, distinguished people among you have come to share, ne share neighbors and celebrate with us. That makes us Kurds are very happy and very grateful. In the hard times our people face through history, uh, history, the saying, we have no friends but the mountains, was said many times. And today, with attacks uh, still continuing on our people in many parts of Kurdistan, the mountains do remain, do remain our friends, as that is still where many our people have to flee to escape repression. But from today, we welcome all of you as our mountains too. And welcome again. Happy Nevroz, Nevroz. <laughs>